Well, hello. Happy Wednesday. How's everybody doing? Hi. <laughs> Hi, I'm Mia. This is Crazy May Stash. And it's Wednesday. And on Wednesdays, we do our unboxing. Um, I got a thing or two. <laughs> There's always something. There's always something. Well, I hope everybody's doing well. Um, I'm going to. Hi, Jeanette. Hi, Barbara. How y'all doing? Happy Wednesday. I um, I just went on like a minute or two early. Usually I'm a minute or two late, so I'm making up for time. I hope everybody's doing well. Um, I My hair is like wet. <laughs> ah, you guys love me as I am, right? So I have lots of stuff. Um, I got my Presidium in the mail, my Presidium tester. I think I'm going to do a separate thing. I haven't taken it out of the box. So maybe I'll um, I'll do a separate un unboxing of that uh, unless you guys want me to do that today. But I didn't I didn't uh, plan on it. You caught me. <laughs> I'm so glad you did. Hi, Susan. How are you? on this Wednesday afternoon. And um, I'm just thankful that I woke up this morning. <laughs> so, um, okay, so I did get my Presidium in the mail yesterday. Where's, um, it went up since the last time I bought it by like $50. So brand new, I haven't opened it yet, but um, you know, I didn't plan on doing it today unless you guys want. I'm fine. How about you? <laughs> I'm doing okay. Really sore with this weather, you know, the um, the weather we're having. But, uh, yeah, so I finally got my new one, and um, I'm excited about that. And then on Wednesday, everybody was asking me for the bunny, and I couldn't find the bunny. <laughs> this is the bunny that they were looking for. Oops, let me shut the curtains a little bit. There we go. Oh, my Sue Spezio. Sue Spezio show. <laughs> and my my uh, my uncle's hand beaded. I, I'm almost positive he made this hand beaded um, brooch. I'm so excited about it. Oh yeah, it's sticky. Yeah, I, got, I oh honey, I got the AC on. I I cannot. My hair would be out like this. <laughs> so this is. Um, what people were asking for. I had shown this last Wednesday, but because I didn't have the Presidium and I couldn't show them that these are diamonds and I'm not even sure what's on his little bow tie there. Um, he's gold. I forget, I can't see, but uh, well, let's go look at it. Um, if you paid from Monday, uh, everything's already out. Uh, at the at the uh, post office, so um, I'm I'm getting better with with, the, with doing the billing. Uh, if I can get everything done on Tuesday, the day after, you know, it it goes well. So, all right, down scope. So this is the one that everybody was um, asking me with the bunny. So this bunny is gold with diamond eyes and i think they're garnets if they're not garnets those are blood red rubies pigeon blood or whatever it's an older piece um in fact i don't even know where it's marked is it marked on the pin Well, it's definitely gold. I know that. Um, but I was going to test it again with you guys. I believe, I don't know if it's 14 or 18. I don't know where it says the carrots. Silly rabbit, where's your carrots? It's not there. 
and it's not there and it's not on the pin. Sometimes it's like right there or there. Mm. You, you and your sister, yeah. So, um, but this is gold. I know I had tested it and um, I mean, why would you make, put diamonds in their eyes? So he, he's old. I don't know how old, but he's old. I, I don't know if that has been replaced, the pin. And it could have been. I don't know. Um, well, let's look on the little pin to see if if it's on there. I don't see any writing on the pin either. Huh. I know it's gold though, but I mean, we could test it. We could test it, but uh, the only thing is I don't have um, my Presidium. I haven't un taken it out of the box yet, so I can't show you what it is, but I can show you that it is gold. It is beautiful. I'll have it ready for next week. I'll have it priced and everything. So let's find a spot. Okay. And let's do 14 first. Oops. There we go. There we go. There's 14. It is not going anywhere. So I think it is 18. Um, because it's more than 14 carat. And I'm going to try to get a little on the end here before they collide. Yeah, see now the 18 made it disappear. So um, it's at least 14 and it's under 18. So it gets 14 carat. I would say it's 14 carat. So yeah, that's how it usually goes. So yes, the little bunny is a, is 14K. So now it'll, <laughs> they've connected. Oh no. All right. So yeah, I wasn't planning on doing the, the Presidium today, but let's clean this up. And get rid of that. Um, Maybe I'll do a live later. I have I have a um, a friend of mine passed away the week before my cousin passed away, uh, and she lived in Florida. And tonight is her tonight is her um, uh, not funeral, but they're doing a celebration of her life, and that starts at five. So I can't go late today. <laughs> in fact, let me set my alarm for like. We'll go to like three. A couple of hours is good. We'll set my alarm. Um, because I gotta get well, I'm already showered, but we'll have to get dressed. And so yeah, she she passed away suddenly down uh, down in Florida. And I know that the healthcare isn't as good down there as it is up here in Boston. So um, you know, it's it's so sad. Um what time? Three o'clock. I'm gonna set it for three. Awesome. So let's let's jump in and get look at some stuff. So do you want to pick up where we left off last Wednesday? Thank you. Her name is Chrissy. She lived, uh, she's like a snowbird, you know. She she was uh wintered down in um down in I can't talk. 
I'm having a hot flash. She did her winters down in Florida and her summers up here. And she would have been back in a week. She would have, this was last month. So yeah, the week before my cousin passed away, she passed away. It was just, it was an awful, um, yeah, it's awful. Plus she ended up working for me at the pavilion. So anyway, we went from five to three people. That's okay. They'll be back. All right. What shall we do today? So we can pick up where we left off. I know we we were we weren't pricing anything. We were just kind of going through these things. So we went through this one. Let me get a container. Uh, oh, I've been putting together containers uh, uh, or things for um, jewelry bags and. Yeah, I've got I got a few of them. They I think they're looking good for Monday. And um there's another one. There's earrings, there's rings, there's uh I made sure there's at least uh at least one piece of silver in each one. Um maybe more. I gave a lot of stuff away on on um last Monday and uh, yeah, a lot of, some of that stuff, uh, one of the bracelets was that sponge coral bracelet. I think that's like, uh, that was like 70, $80 or something like that. I could have, I probably could have sold it for more because it was sterling and the, yeah, it was beautiful. So, um, and then the sterling ring, that was like, uh, that was an expensive ring too, but I'm so glad that you guys, um, we're celebrating with me, you know, I'm excited. I mean, 700 people is a lot. I also have this big bag here and these are all, um, vintage new old stock Avon. Cause my mother said she sold Avon, but I don't think she really did. Um, so I'll, so some of this stuff you know, and they're brand new in the box. Like this one, it says Avon Playful Pastel Earrings Surgical Post. And this one is from 1992. And look how pretty these are. Ooh. Playful Pastel. I don't know if that's Playful. Oh, yeah, it is a pastel, but... It's actually, uh, it looks Native American, but it's obviously it's not. It's a necklace and earrings. The earring is stuck on here. How cute these are. And then you got this piece. I mean, they're, it's new old stock. with the matching earrings so this is just one set that's in there there's a quite a few sets i'll uh there we go the earring wouldn't get off of there so there we go so that's one i mean so there's multiple if you look some of these things up there actually they can go for some money uh, sequin rainbow earrings. <laughs> How cute are those? A brand new old sock in the boxes. This one's from 93. Um, this set is really nice. Cocktail uh, Monaco night cocktail ring. This is brand new in the box. And it's got the matching earrings. Isn't that cute? This one has the matching earrings. And that's what the earring looks like. Really pretty. Brand new in the box. Yeah, she didn't sell it. She just hoarded it. 
These are from, oh, these are from 2012. She died in 2013. So still, these are 10 years old. Um, this one's pretty. Which one is this? Three sets of beaded hoop earrings. And this is from 2007. Oh, these are cute. Three sets. Brown. Oh, they're just all cool colors. Take one off of here. They're all like intertwined here. It's really pretty earrings. So these will all be in one one big bag. Um, yeah, brand new in the box. And there's just all kinds. Of, there's a, I see a sterling ring in here. So there's all kinds of stuff. Earrings and ooh, what's that? Like for a neckerchief or scarf. That's pretty cool. I don't know. So I've been putting them together. Hopefully, hopefully uh, you guys will be interested in those. Avon would, would be able, you would be able to purchase samples to sell in the coming brochures. I bet that's what she did. God only knows. Oh, got this one. Yeah, some of this, some of the stuff is from my childhood. Like, so she would buy me the pins with the perfume in it, and I would wear them to school. And as soon as I got home, she'd take it off me and put it back in the box and put it away. Um, it's not like I could play with them or anything. So, oh, I got this too. So I wanna, I'll, uh, I'll do another video. This today's more unboxing. So, um, but yeah, I got a cleaner. It was marked down. Um, I got it off of Amazon. So uh, we'll try that out. So I got my Presidium and we'll, we'll play with that another day. But let's pull out some jewelry. I'm going to go to the down scope so we can see. Down scope. Do, 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 do. Unique by the creek. Hey, how you doing? Thanks for coming in. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got. So we went through some stuff. Oh, shoot. Where did that other one just go? Oh, no. Oh, there it is. So I don't know if I pulled these out. I know. I don't. I wasn't sure what the heck these are. These are heavy, heavy. It's like lead. Um, this these have pictures on them. They don't really smell. I'm trying to smell. No, I don't think they're sterling. Let's see if they're magnetic. Not magnetic. I'll have to test them. But I don't know what these are. They're huge. This is um, an inch and a quarter. And gosh, it weighs. So these are all together. I'm assuming it's all one kind of, or one tribe or something like that, or one. I mean, these look like they were, like if you look in there, it look, I think these were like poured into a mold or I don't know. All right, ready? Yeah, that's too heavy for that. That's 38 grams. This thing is heavy. Yeah, that's gonna. I have to weigh this on a on my scale for the <laughs> for the post office. Oops. This one bead is 3.7 ounces. This one bead. I'm wondering, I don't know. I don't know. 
so yeah, these are some of the things that we opened up already last week. Uh, some of the things we found. Um, I had put, uh, put some stuff away. What else? Oh, this set was a beautiful. I showed you guys this set. It's amazing. It's got the matching earrings and everything. So did I show this one? I'm not even sure. Yeah, I did. This is amazing. And I love the link. What is it? Um, Paperclip? Oh, I don't know. Something like that. And it has the matching earrings. And it's signed. It's got a feather on it. So I haven't, you haven't looked that up. And then it has the matching earrings. That also have the feather in the back. They're petite. Woo! <laughs> yeah, this is amazing. So we didn't have a chance to look it up. You guys want to look it up together? You can do that. But um, yeah, so I don't know what these things are. They're not rings, that's for sure. I, I'm thinking that they're beads. And then this thing is probably for the upper arm or not on me. <laughs> it's a bracelet on me. But this thing is huge. I'm not quite sure what to make of these. If you guys have any hints, um, this eagle. On that, I don't know. Hi, Warren, sweetheart. How are you? So, yeah, these all have. I don't know. What shall we look up first? Also, guys, I am now, I can, um, I got um, like a partner or whatever. Hi, Sue. Thanks for coming in. Excuse me as I wipe the sweat off my body. <laughs> Menopause. <sighs> Can't escape it. You're doing good. That's awesome. Um, so let's look some stuff up. It's my phone. We can we'll look this one up first. I don't think we looked this up because I would have had notes. I still have to list this. It's just hanging there, yelling at me, sell me, sell me. Yeah, this is gorgeous. And then the earrings. Oh, I'm tempted to keep it, but I won't. <laughs> So let's take a picture and look it up. And um, so the, oops. So the um, marking is a feather. There's my, we're gonna Google aid it. Let's go to Google Lens. Looks like a face. All right, let's go to Downscope and we'll, you can see what I'm doing. Oh, that's the microscope. Down scope. And holy moly. So I think that is it exactly. That looks like it exactly. $480. Um, that one has hook earrings. So it's turquoise needlepoint. Okay, let's start making the notes. Turquoise, turquoise needlepoint. 
Sterling. What's the earrings? Um, earring post. Okay. So this one is 480. Uh, it's mocked down from 959. Let's look at other ones to see if there's some other ones. That one's that one's much bigger. It's like six thousand dollars. Holy moly. That's eight ninety-five. Wow, these are I do have a um a bracelet too, I know. Who'd have thunk this stuff is so expensive? It says Zuni. Four eighty. A little bit different. So there's like two of them, and they're both the, the same exact thing that I have with the earrings, and they're four eighty. Four eighty. Um, that's three fifty with just just the necklace. Stuff is crazy. Oh, oh, I have one of those too. There's so much stuff. This drives me nuts. Okay, so we um, I think we we know pretty much what. Uh, so maybe I'll offer this next week. Um, I'll list it for like what other people are listing it for. Like I'll probably list it for 480 as well or 500. Um, but I'll do the starting bid. Should I do the starting bid at? Uh, let's see. So if we list it for... 480, is that what we said? And then um, how about we started at 250 on, on Monday? Do you think that's fair? I think it's fair. I think it's very fair. <sighs> okay, so uh, where's the little container from Monday? Get all my stuff out. All right. Let's look at these now. I mean, I don't know. Where's Sue Paul? Sue, do you know what these are? I mean, I mean, this we have so many people in here that are so knowledgeable of stuff and Barbara, Sue, um, you know, there's a bunch of you, Kathy. Um, but I have no idea. Do you guys? Have you ever seen anything like these? This this one looks ancient. And then, I mean, there we go. So you can see the detail, even on the side here. It's amazing. Let's um let's Google it and see. Yeah, you can't even guess. I can't either. Um I'm gonna Google it and see. See if anything comes up. I'm looking on the inside here, and it looks like it was hand poured into probably a mold and I don't know. It looks really, really old. And with uncle, God only knows. Let's see, gonna let's Google lens it. All right. Hand 
Pandora. No, these are not Pandora. These are huge. Split, what is that? Split mountain ring. These are kind of, well, that one's kind of like it. Tall mountain ring. What is a mountain ring? It's a meteorite. Um, weld bump. No, we don't need a weld bump. These are parts, I think. Old. What's that? Cool circular mixed metal pendant, uh, primarily German silver with alloy of copper and nickel. Oh, here we go. What's that one? What is that? Tarag, T-U-A-R-E-G. What is that? Hi, Mona's Little World of Treasures. Hi. Hi, Kathy. I just... <laughs> Maybe use... On lightning rods. Would they have carved them? Because they're, they're carved. I mean, why would you, if it was on a lightning rod, why would you have this detail on it? I think there's some sort of bead, but they're so heavy. And I don't see anything on the inside. Yeah, I don't see anything. Have you seen the detail they put on the rods? Gorgeous. No. So here's the big one. And it's like on the inside, it's a bit pitted. See? It's very, very primitive. Oh, here we go. See how it's very pitted in the in the inside there. I didn't know lightning rods were uh but then he had it with this um this armband with it. And I don't see any markings on that either. So, hi, Gritty Grit. Hi, Gail. Thanks for coming in. Are they Moroccan? I, I have no idea. So, I don't know what this thing is. Tareg? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to Google that. Let's move. Uh, also, guys, I now, um, I'm kind of like, I, they monetize me. Even though I don't have a thousand people, they... Um, I guess, I don't know if there's underneath the chat, like, um, I can, you can do super chats and super stickers. That's a first for me because that, <laughs> that was pretty cool. But, um, then you could do memberships. I haven't set any of that stuff up yet, but, um, hold on. Let me, I'm gonna bring up that word on my computer and then I'm going to share my screen. It's T U A R E G. Greg. Okay, hold on. I'm going to share my screen. 
So yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do yet. Tareg is a group of people. Thank you, Sue. That's what I just found out. Okay, I'm going to share my screen. And hi, Adele. How you doing? All right. So it says Tareg, Tareg I'm probably totally not saying it right, but Tareg, Tareg are a semi-nomadic herder. They live in the northern Mali and across the border to Niger. See, okay. Libya, they are descendant of Berber and North Africa and speak Berber language. Um, let me see if they have jewelry. Jewelry. Um, images. Wow, they really do adorn themselves, huh? Oh. Oh, that's a cuff, a bangle. Um, let's see if the... Uh, um, Metal, bead, metal, um, bead jewelry, bead, bead, pendants, pendant, and I don't know what kind of metal it is, so. This stuff is incredible. Um, crosses, necklaces, silver beads. Interesting. I don't see anything that looks like what I have. So it's probably not that because there's nothing that looks anything remotely close to that. All right, let's go back to the down camera. Um, possibly can be African, Karen tribe, Thailand. Yeah, these, this is, I'm going to have to put these, we'll have to do a deeper dive into these. I don't want to spend all, all that time today. Hi, big little gal. <laughs> well, hello. <laughs> yeah, so um, we'll, we'll do a deeper dive into these uh, maybe next week. Let's pull out some more stuff so we can look at some more stuff. This stuff is crazy. I mean... I don't know. So this this uh, will not be up for sale on Monday because I don't even know what the heck it is. <laughs> yeah, I'm not quite sure. It could be anything. Uh, you know, with Uncle and the way he collected things, it could be absolutely anything from anywhere. I know I said that I had the matching cuff to that, um, the necklace, and this is it here, but it's a different, it's NU. Look at how shiny this is. This is newer. Um, NU is different from the other one was marked with ju just a feather. So I'm going to, I'm going to Google it and see what, we, what comes up. I know it's, oh, 375-240. Okay, this one looks almost exactly like, just about exactly, um, except uh, this one has 
the braided on the uh, braided uh, in the center, and this has more stations or something. Goodness gracious. All right, let's see how much this one is. So this is needle point, another needle point, needle point, sterling. So this is $479.98 on sale for two. We'll do the starting bid at 200 on that, which means is if that's 200, then how is the how is the necklace with the earrings only? I don't know. We'll start this at. And then I'll list it. Yeah, OK. So I want to see if this has the same maker on the back why don't they show the back when i take pictures of stuff i always show the back you know especially if you're going to be spending a lot of money you want to see it all don't you i know i do Let's see. These are new, but possible match. Hold, okay. Can't sell the necklace that way. It's way too cheap, dear. Okay. Lightning rod, ball, and caps. I see. Those look like they're brass or something. Brass? Interesting. I sold one of hand beads this morning, which is on Instagram. You sold one of your headbands? Yay! Congratulations, Kathy. You make beautiful headbands. I've seen them. The necklace in, okay. Yeah, go to her Instagram. She has, um, yeah, so the necklace. I thought so, but I wasn't sure. See, that's why I ask you guys. I want to be fair. All right. Plus, we didn't even look up the um, the maker for it's a feather. So we can do that real quick. I'm going to go into the um, native silversmith, native silversmith, native silver hallmarks. And I'll show you my, share my screen. We didn't even look that up. So shop marks picto marks and the alphabet in the order of the artist's name um native american hobby marks so it was just a feather let's look for the feather was curved over where it said sterling Arrows, rain clouds, feather. Uh, okay. I got one of the earrings so I could see. So the feather looks like. This one, <gasps> Alvin and Lula Begay. That's what it looks like. Uh, 
The feather I have is a little bit wider. Let's go. Let's go to Hopi Pictomox. I don't know which tribe does the. I think they all do the needlepoint, right? I don't know. I'm still learning. Ooh, I got hit just in time. <laughs> Hi, Doug Doug. You posted a video today. That's awesome. Okay, let's look for feather. Cheetahs. Toads and reptiles, insect and spiders. So our stars, sun and weather. Ceremonial miscellaneous. Hopi shop marks. Um, help with these marks would be appreciated. So let's go back to the top. So those are animal tracks. Those are tracks. Arrows, clouds. They don't have feathers. Figures and kachinas. Frogs, tadpoles, reptiles, insects. All right. I don't see. I'm going to go back to, let me do shop marks. Let's see if there's. I know things are so different now. There's like third or fourth, fifth generational. Ooh. Desert road trade. I have that one myself. Desert road trading. Okay. Let's look for feathers. You have multiple personalities. <laughs> All right. Let's see. I don't see feathers yet. Yeah, I don't see them. Uh, so my feather is not does not look like any of those. All right, cool. Glad it doesn't look like any of those. Oh, that's a lot of fakes, huh? And unidentified marks. Arrows, clouds, feathers. So these are unidentified marks. Doesn't necessarily mean that they're fake, it's just that they're just not identified. Okay. Um, I'm going to go into F and just look for feather.
Goodness only knows. This is, it's not easy to find all this stuff. Nope, that's not it. So I think it looks like the one that we had right here. Looks like this one here. Alvin and Lulu, Lula, the gay, Navajo. Let's, let's check that out. Ooh. Alvin and Lula the Gay images. Oh. Okay. I don't see any needlepoint though. A lot of inlay. I don't see, there's a lot of inlay but I don't see any needle point. Now, usually if they, they specialize in a certain type. Yeah, it does look like that. Interesting. Um, uh, did they do needle, needle point? I don't see any needle point jewelry there. I don't know. What do you guys think? Uh, let's do the down camera. I don't know. All right, let's look up the other one, which is N N U. So this one. Oh, you're not seeing what I'm looking at. Down scope. So. This one has the feather on the back with sterling. And that's what we were just looking up. But this one that totally goes with that, it says NU. So let's look up NU. I mean, it's, it's identical. The you know, it's identical. So let's look up NU. Let's go back to the screen. This, it takes so much time to do all this stuff. You know, uh, we'll go to N, L, M, N. All right, here we go. And N, E, N, F, N, G. And H and J and P. And V and W. I don't see any in you. These ones are unidentified. I don't see any NU here. Oh, this is aggravating. So 
I pulled out more books from Uncle. Let me uh, move this stuff. So you guys know I have this book that I've been using uh, for the Mexican silver. And these are all the, <laughs> all the, this, a ton of them, uh, things that I see in the book that we have that I need to sell. And then I found this one. Well, I didn't find them. They were in, they were in the uh, containers. So, I mean, this one has, it's just amazing stuff in here. Oh, here's a needlepoint. It says it's Zuni. Um, is Needlepoint exclusively Zuni? Do we know? I'm flipping through the book right now. I think it might be. Some of the stuff is just amazing. Uh, oh, I haven't even gotten to the conch belts yet. I have a ton of buckles. I know that. Oh, this is helpful. All the different types of turquoise and the different mines. I'm sure some of the pieces, a lot of the pieces that I have are mines that are not uh, are no longer, you know, producing. This stuff is amazing. Look at that. Micro mosaic. Crazy, huh? It takes a village. That's right. <laughs> I don't know what I do without you guys. The receipts may sh stop. I'm telling you, a lot of this stuff, I don't have receipts for it. It's a lot of the stuff he bought you know, um, those receipts, the ones that I showed you are only from, um, only from like JTV and stuff like that. That's not like this stuff. This stuff isn't JTV. So that's that one. And then there's this one, it's Southwest Indian arts, arts and crafts. So this goes into not just jewelry, but this is an older book. Um, it's a little more delicate. I don't know when this book was made. It shows the different rugs and the different tribes are, um, gosh, when was this book made? Copyright 1966. This one here. It's not a big one. And then Indian silver smithing. So all these were in with, with this stuff. Ear ornaments, hair clips. Stamping and filling. I chose the different methods. So this one's an older book too. This is 1960. Second printing, I'm sorry, 1971. And then there's, this is the last one. This one's a hardcover. That's amazing. Um, oh, what is this? Apartment's still available. You know, it's an old advertisement when it doesn't have the, um, like six one, you know, the 
first three digits. What is this? Fenway Park. Oh, this is a long time ago. One bedroom efficiency, $900. That's a long time ago. All right, this book is... This is in great condition, too. This is 1993. And let's show you some. Awesome. Look at this. I have some of these with the bones, uh, the chest plates. I found a couple of those. We had rain on Monday. Yeah, so Barbara, getting back to the receipts, the only receipts that are gonna show, they're not gonna show stuff like this. You know, this stuff he got back in the 60s. Oh, look at how cute they are. Look at how cute they are. <laughs> oh my goodness, I just wanna hug them. Reminds me of my little grandmother. So yeah, and then it shows all these people, you know, stuff that they're making and, oh my, I just gave one of these away. All right. Um, so the stuff is this. These books are incredible. So so I pulled them out to try to help, but they those books don't list like different makers. It lists different tribes, but not different makers. Uh, we finally got rain 3 a.m. while I was digging the dirt. Of course, 3 a.m. while you were digging in the dirt. The receipts will show the maker's name. So, yeah. So, the pile that I showed you, um, yeah, I'm not going to go into that. <laughs> uh, we had rain. What is this? $2,200. Holy moly. It's Zuni. Zuni is needlepoint. Okay. I'll show you what she sent me. Mine's more like this one here, or like this one. That says 1940s. Mine's similar to that. <sighs> so much stuff. Overwhelming. Oh, here it is. Three seventy five. See if this one has the same. Uh, maker in the back. I don't know. Let's see. Come on, computer. Let's go. This says Petite Point. Uh, 
This is sterling. That's it. <sighs> Frustrating. Frustrating. <laughs> Right, Doug? Explanation of Zuni jewelry. Sweet. I'm flagging that page there. Thanks so much. But like, again, I don't know what I'd do with you, without you guys. So, I don't know who NU is. We'll have to put the... Uh, the necklace, I don't know. What do you think? 400 to start, starting bid on Monday for the necklace and the earrings. So much stuff. It's a beautiful set. And I'll list it higher than that for, um... okay. I got to fluff my hair. <laughs> it's going to dry weird. Um... What else? What am I missing? Am I missing anything, Doug? So I'll start this one on Monday. I'm going to start it at 250. And then I'll list it for you. Now this one, this little one here. looks ancient compared to the other ones. It's got an S and a star on the back. So let's look it up. Uh, here we go. It's green S back to the top S. S with a star. S with a star. <gasps> S with a star. Big mark on Filipino jewelry. And then the Filipino, oh. Really? This one looks older than all of them. That's disappointing. That is very disappointing. This is the one that you, you sent me. Okay. Explore the, uh, the necklace more, you mean? Yeah, it's just, it's too, you're right. I try to push the envelope and like, you know, cause I want to bring, I want to get rid of stuff and I want to bring you guys good stuff as well. And, but I don't want to screw myself over. I'll put these aside. Um,
I don't know what it looks like. It says glob. Gib. G I B B. Let's look that up. Gib. Back to the top. Go to G. Nope. G. G's and George. Um, Gib. Oh, there it is. We found it. Gib. Montano Gibson Navajo. M O N Montano. Gibson Navajo. Woohoo! <laughs> I'm gonna highlight his name. Let's look it up. I'm so excited. Oh, stop that. Ready? Uh, right click, search images. That's what I got. $400? Holy schmoly. That's what I got. That's what I've got. <sighs> Sterling. Silver cuff. Um, let's see what else I can find out from it. Is there no other description? That's 55.3 grams. Let me see what mine is. This is 60 60 grams. Okay. Huh. Oh, let's see if there's any down the bottom there. All right. Let's go back. Let's see if there are any others listed? How much was that one for? That one was for 300. So the, all the other ones are out of stock. The one I have is it's listed for four hundred. Um, just thought I'd get some more information. Yeah, Kathy, that's where I was uh, on that on that website, and that little that little ring that I thought was ancient turns out that that one was Filipino, not even American made. Yeah, so I mean, you always bring up damn. 
You're killing me, Smalls. Uncle Joe's paperwork. Uncle Al's paperwork. She's never going to let me live it down. She's never going to... Receipts. So, Home Shopping Network and JTV. Uh, Moda L. Mamiso, 18 karat, yellow gold over bronze, bolo bracelet, $100. I mean, there's stacks. It's It'll take me forever to go through all this shit. And I don't know what's what. Jade stretch bracelet, $26.95. Carved jade stretch bracelet, $29.97. You know how many carved jade stretch white bracelets I have? Large East Wet Organizer Tote, East West Travel Shoulder Bag. Flip and Dazzle Organizer. Triangular Turquoise Ring. Floral Cluster Ring. Fancy Cut Yellow CZ. And Yellow... Uh, so, I mean, I don't even know how to match things up. It doesn't have pictures, so... Okay, Yellow Jade Ring. $90. Jade Marquee Ring, $40. How Jade Watch, $60. Conair Quick Gems Jeweler, $20. I don't, I don't know how I would match. I don't know how I would match all this stuff up. How do you match it up? It doesn't, it doesn't give you a picture of what it is. I mean, I can only guess. Bella Lucci, esoteric, tanzanite and white diamond simulants, simulants, rhodium over sterling ring, $50. Customer returns. JTV, Moda Mace Massimo, uh, Moda Massimo, I don't know, mixed shape Indian ruby with zircon rhodium over silver enhancer with, with chain. He changed out like everything, chains, he put, nothing was, so I, I don't know. And then, so the other things is he sold his stuff at Skinner's and he uh, printed out what he sold and what lots they were. And he wrote in the book here, this is an old Skinner's book, uh, auction book of how much he got. Uh, so, I mean, that stuff is gone. Yeah, so these are just mostly JTV. So what is this? Oh, my goodness. Looks like a running tab of something, stuff that he bought. Sapphire earrings. Um, Ruby something. Trinidad. Trinidad bracelet, Indian something, sapphire and diamond ring, $1,800. Oh, I know what that is. I got that at the bank, actually. And then all of these, look at, these are all the people that he dealt with. Jose Ramirez diamond setting. Oh, attorney at law. Oh, I don't know who that is. Plastic reconstruction surgery. 
Oh. Okay, uncle. Jewelry plus repair. Uh, Kim Yen jewelry and repair. Prestigious gold and company. He has Jose's name written on there. Golden Diamond Limited Fine Jewelry. See Time Clearly Repair. That's a watch repair place. All right. You won, Bob. So right there where it says 1800 Sapphire and Diamond Ring. I have that. Uh, I have that at. Uh, and. Um, in the bank i know actually there's two of them actually there's another one right there so he paid 1800 for each one so there's yeah there's two of them they are huge and god only knows when he paid for them because it doesn't have any dates on here so i did find something i'm gonna put this up front so if i could find stuff like that that would be cool but the rest of the stuff is like Graduated South Sea Simulated Pearls, Perfection Necklace, 18-inch length choice, black or white. He got a black one, $100. So this is all the stuff. Most of these receipts are from recent years. Oh, what's this? Oh my. I've not come across that. Art Deco Tiara, Cartier, Paris, 1923. Contact Gail Winston. For immediate release, reflection of Cartier. Reflections of Cartier, the Art Deco years. Cartier's rare jewel collection to be shown in Boston. So he went to this. When was this? Telephone 221PL3. You know it was old. If uh, that was the phone number. I'll have to investigate this. So over the last decade, the firm has enjoyed consistent and steady growth, achieving $1.3 billion in sales in 1990. Okay, so this is like 1990. New birth sheet, May 15, May 25th. That's cool. Look at how it's embossed. Their letterhead is embossed. I don't know if you can see it. Nuts. Okay, what are you guys saying about it? <laughs> Hi, Julie. How you doing? Taking your daughter to the art store. Sweet. Have fun. Julie, check out her headband. Check out Kathy's headband. See if they're still in business. I will. That's a great idea. Um, yeah, and I'll let you guys know. We won't be prank calling <laughs> live. That is crazy. I'm like, I didn't find that. <laughs> Can you imagine? A Cartier tiara. Lottie freaking da. Oh my goodness. That's really cool. Uh, we have the best names in antiques. Oh, Skinner again. That's where we went. Uh, antiques Row. I don't know who that is. 
Homer's. Wow. Jewelry appraisal for insurance. Homer's Jewelry and Diamond Importers. Giuseppe Gerapudo. 14 karat gold pocket watch. Waltham. I know where that one is. Bob. Okay, you were right, Bob. Look at the prices on this. I know I have the Waltham watch open face attached with co uh, with 14 karat chain. This was in 1990. It was $1,200 then. Ladies, 12 karat gold, 20 karat gold ring set with genuine cut eyes. Genuine cut eyes. Approximately one karat. I don't know. That's $3,000. I don't know what cut eyes means. 14 karat gold ring with square Colombian emerald, approximately three carats. $3,200. I have that one too. I told you I needed a safe deposit box. Ladies, 14 karat gold pendant. Um, so yeah, those are all in the safe deposit box. The, I don't know what cut eyes means. What does that mean? Ladies, 20 carat gold ring with genuine cut eyes. Approximately one carat. It's $3,000. He paid back in July 25th, 1990. Uh, and then the last one, ladies, 14 karat gold pendant. With genuine oval, opal, approximately 12 carats, marquee style diamond. That's the necklace I showed you guys. He paid $3,500 for that. Old mine, round cut, weighing 1.8. I didn't know I had the receipt for that. All right, Bob. I'm caving. This right here. Opal, that he paid $3,500 for. I showed on Thelma's, on Thelma's um, channel. Mia always, always thinks, makes me think of the song Spinning Wheels. Ah. <laughs> uh. Yeah, you know, it's just, um, I don't know these people and I don't want them, you know, I'm not taking them to the bank with me, you know, this, this is important. This one here. Thanks, Bob. So the only one I, I have the Waltham watch, I have the Colombian Emerald, I have the uh, opal, uh, ladies, 14 karat gold nugget cluster ring set with mother of pearl cabochon emerald surrounded with 16. I showed that ring. That's the ring I showed at. So I showed two out of these. That's awesome. That's important. All right. I I saw his handwriting and I got all excited. Price of gold and platinum out of sight, silver in the okay, bronze and steel stain um are used now as well as copper. Tanzanite still rules, but now, uh, now Sleeping Beauty turquoise has become a, va a value, as did ruby, sapphire, and emerald. So this Wednesday, February 11th, 2015, he just wrote his thoughts about things. CZs are still hot. 
telling me. <laughs> oh my goodness. So there's a lot of these kind of receipts. And oh, conch belt. 1978. The conch belt he paid $375 in 1978. Ladies' rings. 125 like it doesn't even say that's in 1995 uh, one 14 karat turquoise necklace antique 19 1950 dollars june 1992 14 karat turquoise necklace that's the one I sold for $3,800. I made a profit. All right, Bob, you are right. How many times I have to say it? I've said it enough. Oh, my God. Big wheels keep on turning. No, spinning wheels. Spinning wheels. This is just going to, I mean, there's just so much here. There's just, there's a whole accordion file. And this is only what I've already just found. As I was going, I was throwing stuff in here. It's just, it's a lot. funny about his thoughts of what what was going on and what was hot he kept up on everything tanzanite is hot <laughs> so cute i miss him terrible just like everything else it's gonna it's gonna take a while to go through all this stuff you know just by giving uncle's name, it will give get you in. <laughs> Probably. I'm trying to think of the song spinning. Spinning wheels. Da 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 by giving uncle's name, it will get you in. They know if uh, if he trusts them, they will uh, work with you. Okay. If she's right, I think she's right to be cautious. You never know what kind of relationship he had with these people or how well they knew him. That's right as well. If you find any antique pocket watches, fobs, I'm in. I have a whole bunch. I have a bunch. They're, um, those. Every time I found a pocket watch or a fob, a gold fob, I those are in um, the safe deposit boxes. So I'm not not ready to pot with those yet, but you'll know when I know. <laughs> I'll announce it here. Um, you never know, Mia. If you find those rings in the box with the labels from the stores listed on the receipts. So you can match them up. Yeah, a lot of the stuff, even in the bags, like he he took, he put things with other things and took things apart. And so I don't even know. Cautious for selling to them, but going to them more for uh, more than one of them can lead her to find the true value. That's why I said scan them into a searchable file so they so you can type in a word and find. Okay. Okay. Of course, understandable. Yeah. Um, I'm still uncovering stuff. So, I mean, that's what Wednesdays are for, you know, and, uh, and Mondays are for selling. Sometimes I sell, you know, little stuff on here on Wednesdays. But this is this is a big end. This one here and then this one here. These are 
show my husband those. That's good. There's just not enough time in the day to do everything that I want to do. <laughs> um, but let's get back to this now that I hopefully uh, satisfied Bob and myself. <laughs> I got all these guys out now. Check them out. The clip. It, it, this is a full-time job. This is a full-time job. Uh, yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to go till three and then I'm going to get ready for the funeral. Oh, the silver ones. I don't know. I don't know if I've come across silver. I've solid gold, 22, 24 karat gold ones. I've, I've come across not, um, silver ones. I would definitely probably bring for, for sale. Sorry, I won't be satisfied till they're scanned. Okay, honey. Good thing someone's annoying me uh, into looking into the <laughs> I love you guys. What would I do without you guys? I don't know. All right, let's go back to Monta Montano, Montano, Montano Gibson, Navajo, Sterling. What did we say? Um, not that one. Where were we? Did we put it in? God, I have to close some of these. Oh, 400. 400. Starting bid. Two eighty. What do you think? Actually, this one's heavier than that one. I don't know. I'll bring this one on on Monday. And I'll start with you guys at like 280, 300, and then I'll list it before. I feel comfortable with that one. Uh, let's see what else we got in here. Did we? Oh, this one was really cool. Where are you? This is horn. So it can be engraved if you want it to. This is made of horn. Um, where's my flashlight? So you could see. Oh no. And if we do perp if we do the um so yeah, see how it glows a little bit, like kind of like um it has that color on it like amber because it's an organic material, so yeah, it's horn. So I don't know, there is no, so there's the inside. Um, it doesn't, it's not, there's no sign of a signature or anything like that. So let's Google it. Pretty cool. Down scope. Dun, 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 dun. Oh. What happened here? Oh, 
Okay. I don't know what I just did. Okay. So we're going to Google this. Uh, someone's on my website. <laughs> so many sellers are on vacation now. If you wanted to come on more and we could help more Monday and Tuesday mornings and afternoons are dead. Oh, cool. Um, all right. And uh, Saturdays, too. All right. I like how Mia always says, I'll list it for this, but never list her stuff. <laughs> you guys are just ganging up at me today. Yeah, this is crazy. Now, I'm a big girl, so I think this is probably for a man. I don't think this is for a woman. I mean, I think when it was made, it was made for a man, and you know, initially. Um, but let's see. I'm going to Google it. All right, let me. Google lens it. And see what comes up. Forties mint hand carved black horn. That looks similar. Elephant? No. Oh, it's carved into elephants. So this is probably from the 40s. That's not. I don't know. I kind of like it. I don't know if I'd be afraid to wear it or. What do you guys think? Would you wear it? Really don't see. Oh, here, this is. Various trinket box. No, it's not a trinket box. Indian tribal. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, that's wood. I don't know. You wouldn't wear <laughs> not your style. It actually fits me. That's why I'm thinking it's a man's because I'm I me and my man hands, you know. I don't know. What do you think? Big. Wonder Twins activate. <laughs> yeah, it's it's good size. So that's why it was probably for a made for a man because it fits me. <laughs> Pretty cool. Uh, um. All right. I don't know if I'm ready to sell that. What do you think? 
Bakelite? No, it's not Bakelite. It's um, it's Horn. It's, it's Horn. Yeah, it's a horn. Definitely horn. Yeah, you could see like on the inside and stuff. Like this part here is, yeah, it's horn. Strong enough for a man, but me for a boy. Uh, yours is from India. Water buffalo. Probably. It's beautiful. I might keep it. I don't have a lot of uh, bracelets that fit me. This is my man hands. <laughs> All right. Let's look, look at something else. We've got, uh, we need some stuff to sell on Monday. What's this? We looked at that. You guys, those are buttons. I need buttons. Button, button, who's got the button? So this was we I showed this, but um we did I didn't bring it to sale because I couldn't find couldn't find anything like it. So it's got a silver bead here. These are freshwater pearls. These are amethyst. And then it's set in sterling. I would love to bring this for sale. This is 18, uh, 16 inches. It's a choka. So, yeah, it's really choking me. It's a choka. And it's purple. I love purple. So, Pigeon Blood Ruby, hi, how are ya? Used to work with Horn and it takes great, takes a great polish. Price have gone sky high for raw material. Uh, for a poor country, it eventually becomes out of my reach. Where are you out of Pigeon Blood? Good morning, everyone. Hi, Sherry. You're listening at work? Yeah, I don't know how much I, I, I think I'm going to hold on to this. I, there's something that speaks to me about this, especially that it fits, but it does speak to me. You know how that works. <laughs> but this one, even though I love my purple, so you wear a 30 inch necklace, so hard to find less buying two at a time. Okay. All right. So yeah, this is a, I'm going to, I'm going to Google it. I, I couldn't find anything last time, but yeah, it's sterling. It's 16 inches, fresh water. Um, let's see, where's my, I'm going to Google it. Now it looks dark. Um, natural pearl necklace. That's not it. Yeah, I'm going to put amethyst, amethyst, amethyst. Amethyst, uh, freshwater pearl, freshwater pearl. Sterling. So that one's $200. Oh, all right. I thought that was it. 260. It's nothing like it. 
68. Purple amethyst rhodium over. I have one like that, but in it's not. Freshwater pearl and amethyst. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I should start it at. I'll start it at a hundred. Start it at a hundred, one twenty-five. Yeah, that's sterling. So, where's my notes? Signed, A T. 925 16 inch amethyst freshwater pearl silver bead starting bid um 125 beautiful it's never been worn you can tell brand spanking new All right. God. What the heck are these? Oh my goodness. These are citrine. These are that dark citrine. I know it is. I will, uh, I got to get out my, I have to unbox my, um, my Presidium. Let's do this. These are set in gold, then. Let's say. He was 92 when he passed away. He would have been, uh, I believe, 96 right now. Yep, 14 carat. B, A. What is B, A? The letter B and the letter A. B, A, 14 carat. I think it's citrine. And those are natural. Those aren't man-made. They have bits of inclusions in there. Oh, my goodness. Mia, yeah, question for you. Do you think your uncle was collecting for his retirement? Or was it his passion? It was his passion. I think um, I think he just collected because he liked it. That's what I think. I think he collected because he liked it. He loved jewelry. He, I mean, he, you know, ate, slept, and breathed it, it he just loved it um i think i think it was an investment but also um he bought what he liked and he liked what he bought and he sold what he needed to and he he held on to what he didn't want to sell some of those like so i'm gonna have to go through that whole thing that was like three pages four pages that he wrote I don't know if he wrote that because it usually notes to me, they'll say, Hey Mia, you know, he'll, and they'll, he'll date it. Uh, but that one's dated 2015. So I don't know if he, 
he, he probably wrote it for me, but usually he writes my name on them. Um, yeah, I believe he, he just, I think he just really loved jewelry and he, I don't know, definitely a passion, I think. Um, but yeah, when he needed money, he sold some stuff off and the stuff that he wasn't, you know, he bought a lot of broken stuff and I got a lot of rid of a lot of that stuff in the beginning because he used to, um, he would do deconstruct and reconstruct things. So here's finally drying <laughs> soaking wet when I first started. Um, he was 92 when he died. He would have been 96. Yeah. He had such wonderful taste. He knew his stuff. Yeah. Very smart man. Very, very smart man. So these, Let's see, BA on 14 carat. Let's look it up. BA on 14 carat earrings. Share my screen so you guys know what I'm doing. He loves so many things. On 14 carat citrine. Yeah, this is, they're set in white gold. I guess that's popular setting. Uh, these are, these are beautiful earrings. Who's B.A. though? B.A. Signed. overwhelming that's why i can only do this for so long it's it is overwhelming yeah these are going to be expensive uh let's do BA signed jewelry. Who's BA? Bali? BA is from Bali. Bali. You come from a land of ice and snow and the midnight sun where the hot springs flow. <laughs> yeah. 
you're in the you're B B L G A and that where it snows a lot. You're either in uh, upstate Maine or uh, <laughs> Montana or something. Well, I'm in the Northeast. Uh, we get a lot of snow here too in Boston. Yeah, these are going to be pretty pricey. So I'm going to hold off on these. I just, I know I keep saying that. Um, but I'm going to, I, I got to get ready for the funeral that I have to go to. And um, so, yeah, I have to get ready for the funeral. My hair is going to be a mess because I didn't, I didn't do anything with it. It just dried. It's all right. Um, so maybe I'll come back on later. You know, maybe I'll come back on tonight. Um, I don't think Jan hasn't been doing Wednesdays. You're in Alaska? Mm. One winter we got eight feet of snow. He jumped into it from the deck. We've gotten, yeah, we get we get a lot here. Um, yeah, does anybody know if Jan's going on tonight? Can we check? Let's check if Jan's going on tonight. I haven't talked to her, so. Oh, I didn't realize. Uh... <laughs> Tanya's on right now. My jewelry addiction. Jewelry nurse is on. Cajun. All right. I don't know. Where is. Is she on tonight? Uncut gems. I would greatly appreciate it if you can put them aside for me. I buy individual stones. I prefer to buy a parcel of stones. I have. Uh, in the bank, I have a bunch of uncut stones. And I don't know. I Well, they're cut. I, don't, I can't say they're uncut. I, I don't know if I found any uncut. These are all, um, but I have a ton of loose stones, a ton. Um, I have, I think, two safe deposit boxes full of just loose stones. Um, a lot of them are in those envelopes, those white, that white paper with the, yeah. So, um, but those are in the bank. I haven't. I don't know what's real and what's not, so I just put them all there because I wasn't sure. I, I yeah, it's 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 overwhelming. Um, antiques by Karen. Antiques from Karen. Is she on tonight? There goes my. I don't see anything listed for tonight. Um, so, yeah, you'll have to stay tuned. I mean, because this is, I'm going to be doing this for a very long time. This is my inheritance, you know, and I'm going to be doing this for a very long time. And I'm, as I'm going through stuff and I go through it with you guys um, and I come across that, I'll, I'll, we'll deal with it when I get to those. But there's a lot. There's, um, yeah, I had to like consolidate it. There was like a, a like a whole trunk full, and I had to consolidate it into um, to fit into the safe deposit boxes. Um, there was a lot. There was a lot, I, and I don't know. And Uncle wrote me a note saying that he, you know, it could be large rocks. I, I know there was an aquamarine that was like this. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I, I didn't have the tester then. Um, that was right at the beginning. I didn't have the tester then. So I don't know what's real, what's synthetic, what's, you know, I don't know what's what. Come back on tonight. No Jan for a while, not until the house is moved. Okay. Yeah, so maybe I'll come back on tonight. Um, You'll get back to work, Sherry. Have a great day, sweetie. Thanks for coming in. I really appreciate it. Um, some stones are cut. 
a crudely cut to show potential not and not ready for setting i'm interested in them too a lot of poorly cut stones come out of thailand um some of the some of the uh, paper is like disintegrating that's um encapsulating like stones and he had like um like shoe boxes filled with envelopes and like literally they're coming apart so these aren't new this the a lot of them are not new um some of them are it literally says jtv and it's in like um like a little round thing that has a you know and there's only one, one stone in it whereas the papered ones are uh, folded and on the inside of the white paper is um, what is it called? Wax paper. And then there's like a bunch of stones, all different stuff. There's all different stuff. And they're tight with like a typewriter on the outside of whatever is in the inside. But literally the paper is disintegrating on the outside. So I know that those are old. Um, but yeah, I had to consolidate a lot of stuff so it would fit into you know, the bank. Cause I don't, I didn't want any of that stuff in my house. I didn't know, you know, I, I, it, plus I was still grieving, you know, I didn't, I didn't know what to do with it. And, um, I didn't have you guys, I didn't have YouTube. <laughs> so, um, and yeah, I don't know, Kathy, how large, some of them are big, some of them are small. Um, but she messaged me last night because she got stuck on a bunch of small clasps, but she never did figure out what they were for. She got stuck on a bunch of small clasps. Oh, like for jewelry? Really? Yeah, she's been she's been listing. She's got hundreds of things listed now. I mean, she keeps. <laughs> I'm like. I know I got to get stuff done, um, but I try. There's always stuff going on. Life gets in the way. So, all right, I will, I'm going to try, try to come back on tonight. Um, this thing is supposed to be from five to nine and that's Eastern standard time. And it's three right now. So um, I don't know what time we'll be back. I don't know how long we're going to be there. So uh, hopefully I'll catch you guys in a while. And uh, thanks so much for coming in. You guys could have been anywhere, but you were here with me and each other. Um, if you guys shoot over to Tanya's, uh, tell her I sent you, tell her I sent you Tanya over at, uh, my jewelry addiction. You think I'm thinking of having something to do with Kodak. They have something. Oh, huh? Well, I'll see you all later. <laughs> and I digress. Thanks so much for coming in. Um, be kind to yourself. Be kind to others. And I'll see y'all later. Maybe too emotionally exhausted later. Uh, I might need a pick me up. You guys are like, it's like a drug, you guys. <laughs> it's like hanging out with my friends. So, you know, you guys are my YouTube family. So I probably, I probably will need some cheering up when I get back. Bye guys. Have a great afternoon.